As students in central Indiana are heading back to school or back in school, law enforcement agencies across our state are warning you drivers to please, please stop for school buses or face the consequences. That's right. They say stop arm violations, speeding and reckless driving are all too common in areas where kids are at risk of getting hurt. WRTV's Nico Panisi explains how these agencies are working to keep your child safe. Right now, over 200 agencies are participating in stop arm violation enforcement or SAFE. That looks like increased patrols in school zones like this, and officers are encouraging you to watch your speed. We're jumping in here on number nine. Unsafe driving. They can happen anywhere, anytime. Is a top concern? Already two within the first few days. For Boone County Sheriff's Deputy Mark Metalski. They've activated their yellow lights. That means they're going to be stopping for a pickup. He starts his days before sunrise. Now we're just going to follow this bus up to the school. Patrolling the streets. So we'll be out in full force in that community. To keep your children out of harm's way. We are out following buses from 6A to 10A and then again 2P to 6P watching for stop arm violations. His agency is one of hundreds across Indiana. Stepping up patrols in school zones as students head back to the classroom. It's a part of the statewide stop arm violation enforcement campaign or save. The buses are coming to a stop, picking up or dropping off kids, depending on if it's the beginning of the school day or the end. And when the yellow lights come on, we need uh, traffic to start yielding to that, knowing that a stop is coming. And then when the red lights come on, we want to make sure that no kids get hit in the crosswalks when they're loading or unloading. An Indiana Department of Education survey found that there are about 2,000 of these violations a day across the state. That could rack up to more than 376,000 violations in a school year. Every year is a little different. Unfortunately, usually we do see a little over that 2000 mark uh, for those that one day survey. Uh, unfortunately, in 2022, we were up a little bit from 2021, but that also goes along with kind of national trends. ICJI Executive Director Devin McDonald says the SAFE program is made possible through funding from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This year, we've got about $680,000 that we are utilizing to fund a little over 200 different law enforcement agencies to do overtime patrols on bus routes. And so what we're trying to do, again, is to increase awareness to those, those issues. Over in Hancock County, Prosecutor Brent Eaton says it's important to remember the legal consequences. And that can be charged not as an infraction or a traffic offense, but as a crime. And so, you know, it can be charged as a Class A misdemeanor, um, which is punishable up to a year in jail. If you hurt someone during a violation, it's a level six felony, punishable by six months to two and a half years in prison and a fine of up to $10,000. If you kill someone, it's a level five felony, carrying a one to six year prison sentence and up to $10,000 in fines. You can carry a license suspension anywhere from 90 days up to a year, depending upon the facts. And officials want to remind you to avoid distractions like being on your cell phone and watch out for kids in the road. In Boone County, Nico Panisi, WRTV.